Hello everybody. Welcome to the video on internship interview questions and answers from Career Right. An extremely important video for all the students who want to gain some work experience before the full time employment. Now, the internship interview is quite different from the interview for a full time role. So, the answers are also going to be different. There are seven questions in this video that you would most often face in your internship interview. I would highly recommend that you sit with a pen and a notepad and keep taking some notes along the way. The way I have organized this video for you is you will see the question, the purpose behind it or a tip to bear in mind while answering that question, some key qualities to demonstrate while answering that question and a sample answer. To make sure that you don't miss out on anything important, ensure that you stay connected till the end. Okay, now before we begin, let us first of all understand what do you mean by internship and why you must take your internship very seriously. So, as most of you would know, internship is termed as a period of work experience offered by an organization for a limited period of time. And the advantage of interning with a company is not just the exposure you get to the corporate world. Many a times these companies hire some of their best interns for a full-time role also. So, your internship with a company is also your opportunity to get hired by them for a full-time role. Make sure that you show them your best during this time. Great. Now, let's start with the questions. Number one, tell us something about yourself. Now, this is usually the first question to be asked at any interview. And the purpose behind asking this question is to open the communication. If I were to give you one pro tip to answer this question, I would say, tell them something more than what your resume has. Tell them something more about yourself as a person and show them how serious you are about using this internship period effectively. A sample answer to this question can be something like, I am Shipra Singh. Currently, I am doing my MBA in so and so. During my two months internship period, along with the work, I plan to learn to conduct myself in a corporate setup. I am very enthusiastic about the growth in the field of social media marketing, where I want to work as a professional. I am quite proactive in my actions, learn new things and take up new challenges. Traveling is what I enjoy and also I like to click scenic pictures and record videos of nature, which I later edit and publish on my social media. Now, pay attention to how I have ended this introduction. In a social media marketing profile, these videos and pictures that I talked about are going to be a big asset. And there is a very high possibility that the interviewer may now want to see my work. If they ask me to show them my work and it is able to impress them, you yourself know that half the battle is won. You can also do something of this type where you actually get the interviewer to ask you for one of the following things. Number one, an example of your work. And number two, the next, desired questions about your relevant projects and skills. And at the end of this answer, if the interviewer asks you for any of these things, know that you have achieved your purpose with this question. Question number two, what are your expectations from this internship? Now see, there are various ways to ask this question. This can also be reframed as, what according to you is an ideal internship? Why do you want to intern with this company? Or what skills do you expect to gain at the end of this internship, etc, etc. But the basic purpose of all these questions is to find out if they will be able to meet your expectations or not. See, some companies may even ask you to answer this question while filling up the application form also. If you have already answered it in that application form, elaborate a bit. Now, to answer this question, think in advance how this opportunity can help you understand the following three things. Number one, how to behave in a corporate setup. Number two, inform you about various career choices you have in this field. And number three, get a real-time experience of working in that domain and see if you enjoy working in that domain. If you want to intern for a social media marketing role, for example, a good sample answer can be something like, well, I'm really looking forward to this internship because I'm really excited about working in the field of social media marketing. Since your company has a strong online presence, I believe this internship opportunity 
will help me get a fair idea about writing some appealing content, creating images that communicate, working with tools like Canva, and making a hundred percent use of all the features of various social media platforms professionally. Moreover, I also believe that working with the seniors here will also give me an opportunity to pick up on their skills, knowledge, and overall conduct during the work hours. And all of this is really going to help me get ready for my future. If I'm selected, I'll give my best to whatever work is assigned to me, and ensure that I'm able to add value to this company while I'm here. Now you see, the last paragraph here is really important because it tells the interviewer that you are here not just to take but also to give something back. So it is going to be a mutually beneficial relationship. Now see. while paid internships should always be preferred and there are some companies in the market that do offer a really attractive stipend i would advise you to avoid being the first one to talk about money because it is going to make you sound money minded fantastic let's move on to question number 3 now tell us something about your college projects now see the major mistake that most of the students make while talking about the college projects is they talk only about their academic projects but there's a very high possibility that some of you may not have very impressive academic projects in your profile so it is perfectly okay to talk about some events that you organized in the college or something else you did there to answer this question because the basic purpose of the interviewer to ask this question is to understand the finer details in your personality like how do you break down bigger tasks into smaller ones how organized are you do you look into the finer details of the things how do you solve the problems how do you operate in a team etc now a sample answer to this question can be something like in addition to our academic projects we were also required to organize an inter college fest which is a 3 day annual event at our college students from over 20 colleges of nagpur participate in this event I was a member of the team that organized the quiz competition on day 2 of the event. Our show was allocated a duration of 2 hours. So to begin, we broke down the time period into various rounds, which we decided through various rounds of discussions within the team. Then we went on to create the content for each of these rounds, arrange for various audiovisual devices that were required, created the registration forms, practice the flow of the event, etc. and after a hard work of 15 days we finally got the show in front of our participants and audience to keep the audience engaged we also had some questions and prizes for them here the biggest challenge during the process was getting the sponsorships for the prizes i and a friend of mine had done a project with a distributor of a renowned chocolate company here so we were able to approach them and convince them to sponsor the prizes for our event overall a big learning was to manage the time task team and the audience too so you see how i have ended this answer by talking about the learnings from this project i've talked about how i learned to manage the time task team etc and this is what the interviewer is actually interested in fantastic so let's move on to question number 4 now tell us about a time when you learned something absolutely new Now see this is something that is most expected from the interns because in the internship role the companies want to hire somebody who is happy to take up a new responsibility or do a project that the existing employees find difficult with their existing skill set for example as a youngster you can pick up creative technologies like video editing or making thumbnails faster than a 45 years old person So while your senior will give you the instructions of what they want you will be needed to execute them and get them the desired result so you see the company in this case will want to hire somebody who is willing to take up a new project even learn quickly what they don't know rather than just being in the office from 9 to 6 pm and somehow kill the internship period so think of the examples from your past where you learnt new things and actually put them into action if it is possible carry some pictures in your phone or print outs that you can show them if this question comes up but you'll be able to do all this only if you anticipate this question so having these examples ready will also demonstrate that you prepare for things in advance 
and are really interested in this internship. Okay, let's move on to question number five now. Another very important question. Tell us about a situation where you took up a leadership role. Now see, before I tell you how to answer this question or I give you a sample answer, I have to tell you something very, very important. And this is a really important tip that I want to give to you. Anything you do to improve a situation demonstrates your leadership quality. And this is really, really important at this age because there's a high possibility that many of you were never given the official title of being a leader for any project. But know that it is absolutely okay. The leadership is not limited to a title. Even if you notice a problem, take an action and correct it. Whether it is in college, society or at your own home, it demonstrates your leadership. The only problem here is, if you go unprepared to the interview, you will not be able to think on these lines on the spot. And it is this thought process that I want to give to you today. So to answer this question, think on these lines and get some examples together that showcase this behavior of yours. For example, if I were to answer this question and assuming that I have never officially led a project, I would say something like this. Well, although I have never been given the title of being a leader officially, I believe I have demonstrated this quality many a times. For example, I am not the official member of my hostel's student committee, but I observe the housekeeping work in the hostel needs better attention, which the current members are not able to pay. So, I talked to some co-residents to form a volunteers committee, offered this solution to the management, which happily agreed to it. Then, I talked to the housekeeping contractor and along with the volunteers group, set up a proper schedule to get the work done. Proper follow-ups and inspections improved the situation to a great level, just within a few months. So, you see, officially, you may not be the leader and still be the leader by being a change agent. Great. Let's move on to question number six now. Can you tell me about an accomplishment that you're proud of? Now, before we see how to answer this question, my tip to you to answer this question effectively is again like the previous one. It is not necessary to talk about your academic accomplishments only to answer this question. Anything that makes you a better person is also an accomplishment. For example, it might be how you overcame your fear of staying absolutely alone in a new city and becoming independent or learning a new skill like public speaking, playing an instrument or anything else. Don't answer the question just to impress the interviewer. Say something because you are really proud of it. The trick is talk about the experience and your learnings along the way in addition to why you are proud of it. Try to weave everything into a story. You see? The more the number of stories and examples you have to tell, the better you will do. Okay, and now finally coming to the last but the most important interview question of this video. Important because your answer to this one question can convert your internship into a full-time employment with the same employer. And the question is, what do you plan to do after this internship? So see, if you do not have any fixed plans, like joining a family business, going for higher studies or a campus placement already. Keep your options open. To answer this question, you can say something like, after this internship, I'll appear for my final exams in the month of so-and-so. Post that, I'll be available for a full-time employment in the field of dash. You can fill up this dash with the field of your interest. I see that you work extensively in this domain. So I'll most definitely be interested in working here. And if you like my performance during this internship period, I'll definitely be happy to be considered for a full-time role here. See, no company wants to let a good candidate go away. And this includes their interns too. This is a huge opportunity. Don't let it slip away with a vague answer. With this, we come to the end of this video. And I sincerely hope that whatever we have learned in today's video is going to be tremendously useful to you in your career and in securing that internship that you always wanted. If you have found today's video useful, do give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends to stay updated with more such interview questions that can get you the desired jobs that you have always wanted. Make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. I'll see you very soon with a new video. Till then, bye-bye and 
Take care.